Hey Stampers, welcome to Brandy's Cards. So are you guys as excited as I am? And you're like, what are we excited about? The new Stampin' Up! catalog. Here it is. The new Stampin' Up! catalog. Very excited. It is going to launch June 3rd of 2015. So uh, many of you who filled out my request for the new catalog, you should have one by now. And if you don't, please let me know. Um, so go get your catalog, put the video on hold, go get your catalog, and I'm going to show you what all of these tabs are all about, okay? So put it on hold, go get your catalog. All right, so I'm going to keep on going here. I'm excited. I've got all of these tabs here. There's so many fabulous things for me to show you. So the catalog launches on June 3rd. It's going to last through May 31st of 2016. There's so many like fabulous things in here and sometimes I feel like we can miss it. And so I decided how about I just kind of pull out a few things, show you how you're going to like some of the helpful tips to make the most of your Stampin' Up! catalog. All right, so first off, I'm going to show you, yes, I do have my catalog bound, and no, it doesn't come like that. Um, I do that at Staples, it's five bucks. So you just take it to Staples and you ask them to do the binding, the, the binding on it. It's fabulous because you can flip the pages over and it works perfectly in your craft room. So make sure that um, if you have your copy, it is a great thing to do. All right, so now that everybody has their catalogs, let's take a look on the inside. So I have my tabs here. First off, let's open to page number two. So one of the questions that I get all of the time is, Brandy, I, I don't know the difference between clear mount stamps or photopolymer stamps or wood mount stamps. What is the difference? Well, here on page two, it is gonna show you the difference. So you'll see here our clear mount stamps are the red rubber stamps, and they are the cling mount that you mount on and off an acrylic block. And then we have the wood mount stamp option. And so wood mount stamp means that it's a red rubber stamp that is gonna permanently mount on a wood block. And then it shows you here our photopolymer stamps. The photopolymer stamps are completely see-through. So if you really like those types of clings where they're completely see-through that you mount on and off an acrylic block, then those are the ones for you. Now keep in mind, when you're looking through your catalog, if you look underneath the stamp set, and I'll point that out here later in the book, if you look underneath the stamp set, it's gonna tell you that it's available in wood mount, clear mount, which is red rubber that you take on and off acrylic block, or photopolymer. Not all stamps are offered in photopolymer, so make sure that you, uh, you take a look at that when you go to place your order. All right, how about the next page, page number three? I love page number three and you know, many of you might go, well, Brandy, right now, page number three, it's just a bunch of great circles. Yes, but look at these fabulous colors. Stampin' Up! has gorgeous color families and lots of opportunity for you to uh, shake it up, really express yourself. Um, and of course, your projects through color and mixing the colors and the techniques. So the reason that I wanted to point this page out is because when you look later in the catalog, at the uh, papers that we offer, the markers and that sort of thing, it's a little bit harder to see the actual color. So on page three, there's a nice, um, a nice half inch circle there and you can truly see um, which color is a real red or maybe I want a pink. The other thing I want you to take a look at is the new in colors. They are fantastic. Not to mention they're like yummy, right? Uh, watermelon Wonder, Cucumber Crush. You can just take a look here. These are the five new ink colors. So they are awesome, they're beautiful, and they're gonna last through 2017. All right, let's go to the next page here. Let me take you to page number four. Now, why page number four? Well, because I wanted to show you that we have, um, basically, this is basically saying there's, you can make it, and I'll show you later in the catalog what that looks like. It's all of the directions of some of the projects that are on the, um, on the page. Now, it's not the actual directions, but it's the products that were used to make them. Um, and so that would be really helpful because you can see the colors and the card stocks and that sort of thing. And then bundle and save. I love the bundle and save. So I'm gonna show you what that means. You know, you can bundle a stamp set with a coordinating punch or framelit, and you're gonna get a 15% discount. So it's totally worth it to do those together because um, you will get that discount. 
and um, that discount is actually stated in the catalog. So I think that is that offers a little bit of confusion because um, sometimes folks might think that it's actually 15% off of the price in the catalog and that's not the case. It's already been discounted and the way that you can tell that is you can add the stamp set and the framelit and you can see it's more expensive than the listed bundle price itself. So I hope that makes sense. Um, the next page here, page number six. All right, so I love page number six. Um, I love the um, Cupcake Party stamp set. Fantastic, love it. One of my favorites by far. And the reason that I, I felt this was important to point out to you is, is because, take a look right here, um, this cupcake is kind of colored in beige. Do you guys see that? This cupcake right here, it's kind of a beige color. Well, the reason that it's, it's kind of this beigey color is because it means that it coordinates um, with a punch. So that means that we have a cupcake builder punch on the punch page that is gonna coordinate with this stamp set. Now, how would you know that? Maybe you're a new customer to Stampin' Up! and you're like, well, how would I ever know that? Well, the first thing that you should know is, okay, it's beige, so it's got a coordinating punch or framelit. I don't have to fussy cut that one out. Um, but the other way that you can tell that is if you look right here under Cupcake Party, it tells you there's 10 rubber stamps. Um, it tells you that you can get it and you can order it in wood, which is the wood block with the red rubber, or we offer it in clear mount. So you can also get this in clear mount, but this is not offered in photopolymer because it's not stated. And then underneath that, you can see here that there it coordinates with the cupcake builder punch. And there's a little beige circle under there and it shows you that um, it is available with that punch. So that's just a good little news nugget to know. Um, I think you'll find that very helpful. Um, if this, if this uh, cupcake was shaded gray, well, that means it coordinates with a framelit, okay? So that's, that's just good to know. All right, so let's see here, the next page. How about we turn to page 11? Okay, so on page 11, I'm gonna highlight the bundle and save one more time. Fantastic, you can see here the bundle and save, in this case, is the amazing birthday stamp set right here on page 10 and it also has coordinating framelits. And if you look at page 10, you can see here that they're in gray. And the reason they're in gray is because they coordinate with the framelit. And there's a couple here in uh, beige as well. And underneath the stamp set, it says coordinates with the one and one fourth circle punch. And it also says that it coordinates with matching framelits. Over here, so you always wanna look for the bundle and save. This one says that if you, you purchase these two items together, then you're gonna get a 15% discount, and this is the price. So it's just a really great resource and a great thing for you to know is available to you. All right, so I'm excited. Let's keep moving through the catalog. Um, let's see, page 22, you can make it. So how many times have you looked through the Stampin' Up! catalog and thought, oh my goodness, I love this project. But you're like, I just really don't know what colors those are and I, I don't know what papers and maybe it feels a little overwhelming. Well, that is why I like to share with you all of my directions on my website with those tutorials and all of the written information along with the products used. I wanna make it easy as possible for you to recreate this project um, with the colors I chose or maybe with new colors. Well, the same thing with here with Stampin' Up. So they're showing us here on page 22, they're saying you can make this too. And they're giving you the cardstocks that were used, they're giving you the stamp pads that were used, they're showing you the jewels, the thread. So all of the items that they used are right there. Now again, it's not the sizes and the dimensions, so if you find a project in there and you would like a little bit of help with that, um, I might not be able to recreate it exactly, but I can certainly give it a try and help you if you'd like. So just let me know. All right, so let's flip all the way to page 149. And you're like, well, what about all that fabulous stuff in the middle? Well, that's just what it is. They are fabulous stamp sets all throughout this book. And um, you're just gonna have to take a look through here and um, I'm gonna say sit outside on a beautiful evening and just flip through here. Fabulous, fabulous options and lots of, uh, lots of creativity. So Stampin' Up! did a great job. And so those are mostly all stamp sets. All right, page 149, Whisper White. Are you guys ready? 100 pound paper, that's right. I didn't want to tap too loud because my husband would be like, oh my gosh, that was annoying. No, just kidding. So anyway, 
I'm not kidding. A um, hundred pound um, Whisper White eight and a half by 11 cardstock. And you're like, Bernie, why is that so exciting? Well, it's exciting because now when you cut that and you make it into a card base, you're gonna have maybe a little bit firmer of a base. And you know what? It just is gonna make it feel maybe a little firmer, just a little bit more substance to it. Um, although I do like our Whisper White paper right now that we have. I think it's fabulous. Um, but this is just an alternative. Um, the other nice thing for that paper is, you know, when we do these 3D projects and things, and you guys say to me, okay, Brandy, you know, I just need a thicker white paper, and I don't necessarily save the backings of my DSP, which you should, I'm telling you right now, you should always save those. But in case you don't, um, this would be a good alternative, I think. So that is, um, that is available to you. So that is on page 149. All right, let's keep moving through. Of course, you know, we've got all of the punch boards. That's on page 150. Take a look at those. We now offer the gift bag punch board, the envelope punch board, which we've had for a while now, and then of course the gift box punch board. So those are just some really neat ways to make 3D projects um, a lot easier with the directions and the sizes on there. So let's turn to page 152. I cannot tell you how many times I get an email that says, Brandy, you know, I would really like to give stamping a try, but I just don't know where to start. And I love those emails because then I can kind of offer you some suggestions and some ideas. Most important is, as it only takes three things to learn how to stamp. It takes paper, ink, and a stamp set, right? So I know that sounds really easy. And my suggestion is always find a project that you really, really like. Tell me what project that is and I will help you recreate it. Well, here is another alternative. If you look at page 152, Stampin' Up! offers these fabulous project kits. It's on page 152 through page 155. That's right, so there's like what? There's like eight kits right there. And my most favorite one, which I'm gonna point out, is on one page, um, page 155, and it's called Watercolor Wishes Card Kit. Oh my gosh, it's fabulous. I can't wait to order it. But like all of you, I have to wait till June 3rd of uh, 2015 in order to even place my order. Um, so I'm really excited about it. But the neat thing about this, this kit in here is you're gonna see that it comes with, let me just tell you for sure how many, there are 12 photopolymer stamps. 12 sentiment stamps. I mean, it's fabulous. So we've got thinking of you, happy birthday, celebrate. So all of those stamps are already in there. You have your stamping spots, two stamping spots for color. There's a block included in here. All your cardstock is cut. All your bases are ready. Your envelopes are there, your embellishments. You are good to go. So what a great opportunity to learn how to stamp. The directions are there. And I promise you, once you get a feel for it and you see how truly easy it really is, um, I think that you'll, you'll really enjoy that. Um, I had a girl come to my class the other day, and I will never forget it, it just really makes me laugh. And her husband, or um, her, she told her husband she was coming to my card class, and that was fine. And so she was sitting across from one of the girls that comes to my classes all the time, and um, she says, oh, it looks like Brandy finally got you to come to a card class. And Sweet Tia says, yeah, I was really excited, and she said, well, did she tell you that it's a slippery slope or did she tell your husband? Well, it is because it's just so much fun. And um, I think, you know, once you start stamping, stamping, you'll realize how much fun it is too. But I had to laugh at that because um, it is a lot of fun. And um, this really, these kits offer you the all-inclusive kit um, just to sit down and start crafting. So um, I'm excited to make some of these kits for some of my thank you notes because this watercolor one is just stunning. All right, let's move on. Enough of that jibber jabber. Oh, I have to point out page 156. 156, so Stampin' Up! has um, retired our sticky strip. I know, some of you are really sad, I get that, I apologize. Um, but the sticky strip is gonna be retired and out with the old and in with the new. We're always excited about new product because you know what? It could very well be a lot better than the sticky strip. We just don't know yet. I haven't honestly used it, but I'm looking forward to it. It will be on my order June 3rd. And so this is called Tear and, um, Tear and Tape Adhesive. And it's on page 156 in this bottom corner. And it's a strong adhesive. And um, it's got the paper backing. 
and Stampin' Up! feels that it's going to be perfect for boxes and 3D items. So that is going to replace our sticky strip, so take a look at that. Um, I'm, I'm anxious to get my hands on that and give that a try. All right, so let's move on. It looks like I've, I've kind of stuck another tab in here. So the reason I stuck this tab in here is because the last card that I made um, with one of my pre-order projects, I'm excited to start sending to you guys, but I thought I would wait until the catalog launched. But if you look at page 161, oh, I'm in love with these metal rimmed pearls. Oh my gosh, they are fantastic and I can't wait to put that on my next thank you note. And so um, I have this page tagged because I just can't wait to get them. I think they are fabulous. And so if you guys, uh, most of you should have received a thank you note from me. Um, I enjoy sending those to my customers. And if you haven't, well, I'm a couple weeks behind, but they are coming and I've had a ton of fun making them. But I am saving uh, my last stash because I have got to add those pearls on there. They are fantastic. So those will be headed your way here soon. All right, so let's keep on trucking through here. You know, as you turn the pages, you're going to see page 162. That's our embossing and our glitter. That hasn't changed. Um, of course, the coloring tools, the different ways that you can add color versus, you know, sponges, the aqua painter, the blender pen, um, that type of thing. Oh, this is one of my favorites. So how many times, turn to page 165. Okay, 165. Okay, how many times have you guys thought, okay, I love that oval punch, and I think that oval punch is pretty cool, but do they layer? And you look at the sizes and the dimensions, and you're like, okay, I know that, <laughs> I know that two and a half, I know that two and three quarters bigger than two and a half, but it's just hard to visualize, right? Well, at least it is for me. So I was really thought this was brilliant on Stampin' Up's part. They showed us how they layer. How fantastic is that? Go Stampin' Up! right? I'm excited about this. So you can see that the biggest circle here is two and a half inches, the next one is two inches, and then one and three quarter and one and a half. I mean, wow, that was awesome. Same thing over here for the smaller circles, the oval punch. So you can kind of see these different layers and they've kind of shaded it so that you can, you know, you can totally see it. So I just thought that was awesome and totally worth pointing out to you. So, oh, Okay, so I have to show you this. Page 167 is still on the punches, but this tree builder punch, it's absolutely adorable. And it, I'm gonna go here um, and show you the back. It actually coordinates with the Ronald McDonald stamp set right here on page 189, right here. This is the new Ronald McDonald house stamp set. It is awesome. And you know, if, if you're interested, if you like the trees, I just, I think the sentiments are fantastic. So you're gonna absolutely see me make some cards with this. I'm excited to share it, but I'm also excited to say that a portion of the proceeds from the sales of the stamp set goes to the Ronald McDonald House. And I have volunteered many, many times at the Ronald McDonald House. And Brandy's Cards has actually um, donated meals there and we've gone and prepared meals. And I'm not a very good cook, but I can make some killer tacos. Let me tell ya, I can't screw up tacos. Um, anyway, so but anyway, it's a lot of fun. I've really enjoyed it. But what I love most about this stamp set is that the proceeds, there's proceeds from the stamp set that go to the house um, to support the Ronald McDonald House Charities. And we know all know how important that is. So just take a look at that. That's on page 189. All right, so here, let's keep going. The fun part, some more fun stuff. Um, oh, these fringe scissors, they are just super cool. Page 168. Love them a lot. Um, I'm working on a new getaway magazine. Yes, I am. Yay! So keep your eyes, um, you know, keep your eyes out for it. I'll, uh, I hope to launch it here in the next couple of months. So, um, but one of my projects, I'm going to use the fringe scissors, and they are fantastic. Um, let's take a look at page 170 and 171 to 173. These are what we call framelits, and so you would stamp your um, you would stamp your image and then these frame your image to pop it out or to cut it out. You would use this with your Big Shot. You'll notice the Big Shot on page 170. Um, everybody has to have a Big Shot. It is just unbelievable. And um, you know, I just, I can't say enough about my Big Shot. I love it, love it, love it, love it. And all of these framelits coordinate with either a stamp set or um, card stocks, that sort of thing. So make sure you look at those as um, some of the new options. 
And then of course, embossing folders rock. Um, I'm working on a thank you note with some embossing folders and I'm excited to start sending those out to you guys. Um, those are on page 174. There's a couple new embossing folders and right here is the new fluttering with the butterflies. It's unbelievable. Absolutely gorgeous and the brick wall. Yeah, I love the brick wall. I think I love it as much as I, the wood grain. Um, I just really like that earthy type, you know, natural and those are fantastic. All right, let's get down to the end here. Page 178, treat yourself to some hostess rewards. So if you place an order with me and your order is 150 um, or more before shipping or tax, that's right, before shipping or tax, your total reaches $150, you will always get the hostess benefits. Always, no question, you can count on it. Okay, whether you place the order by yourself or you send me the order via email. If you send me the order via email, I'm going to email you back and say, go Sally, go Sally, you got, you know, you get to pick out a few more free uh, products because your order qualified for hostess merchandise or rewards. So this shows you our new hostess reward chart. It's on page 178. Stampin' Up! felt that, you know, our other rewards chart may have been a little long and um, we wanted you to be able to reach bigger levels faster and reach some opportunity to get some uh, half off merchandise. So page 178 shows you that chart. So familiarize yourself with that and take a look at that. If you do earn the hostess benefits, well then, you're in, then you get to pick from some exclusive set, sets. So you have to have hostess rewards or you know the hostess dollars in order to purchase these sets. And so these sets are on page 179 and they run through, look at that beautiful butterfly. Oh, love that. 180, 181. And so these are the hostess sets. Now, while I'm talking about that, maybe you place orders um, each month, but your order will, you know, doesn't reach $150. Well, then maybe you should consider joining one of our one of my stamp clubs. So I have stamp clubs going on right now. And so basically you spend $25 before shipping or tax. That's right. And each person is assigned a month to get the hostess dollars. So say, you know, you join the stamp club and for six months you spend $25 before shipping or tax. And all six of those people, their order goes into one hostess code. And then one person each month for six months will get to pick out the free merchandise inside of the Stampin' Up! catalog. So it's just a great way if you know that you, you know, you might not make it to that $150 mark, but you really want a hostess stamp set. That is a, a great opportunity to, to join a stamp club. There's some other perks as well. So if you're interested, email me and I will send you all of the details. All right, one of my most favorite things as we start to kind of come to a close, one of my most favorite things about the Stampin' Up! catalog is on page 185. And um, th this is called the Greeting Stamp Index. Now, why is it one of my most favorite? It's an index. It is so much more than an index. It is like fabulous. It's like, um, well, you see, if you look at my stamp sets, they are so not alphabetized or in any sort of an order. Um, and so, this is really nice because when I start stamping and I'm looking for a specific sentiment, maybe a thank you that's about that big or a long sentiment or just whatever type of greeting I'm looking for, if you go to the greeting stamp index, you can totally scan through here and say, oh, there's a big thank you or, oh, you know, there's um, a happy birthday and I can see exactly what is offered inside the catalog all in one spot. So then I can either turn to that page in the catalog and see it life size, or if I'm lucky, I might have it on my shelf and then I can go get it and use it on my project. So I use this on a daily basis when I'm crafting. I just think it is just a huge resource. So if you didn't know about the stamping uh, greeting index here in the back, now you do and I hope that you will take advantage of it. All right, folks, that is the Stampin' Up! catalog. We are super, super excited about the launch of this new catalog. Um, and again, it is going to be out. Um, it's going to launch and go live, meaning that you'll be able to order from it on June 3rd of 2015, and it's going to run through May 31st of 2016. And we're just really excited. I mean, there's just there's such great artwork in there. Some items um, from the old catalog were retired. 
but they only do that so we can freshen it up and bring you some new fabulous things to work with. So um, I hope that you are enjoying your catalog and if you are viewing our video today and you don't have a Stampin' Up! catalog and you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, um, I would love for you to email me and I will, I will absolutely send you a catalog in the mail right away. And I do want to say, if you have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, though, um, that I request that you please ask your demonstrator for a catalog. But if you don't have one, um, I would love the opportunity to earn your business. So send me an email and I'll get one out to you right away. So thank you all for stopping by Brandy's Cards. I hope you've enjoyed today's tour and helpful hints of the new catalog. Of course, if you have any questions, let me know. I'm always happy to help. I sincerely appreciate your business and I hope you're enjoying all of your crafting supplies and I look forward to enjoying the new catalog with you with projects and tutorials and so thanks for stopping by and I hope you have a blessed day.